disaccharides and polysaccharides disaccharides a disaccharide is a sugar a carbohydrate composed of two monosaccharides it is formed when two sugars are joined together and a molecule of water is removed the linkage between two monosaccharide units through oxygen atom is called glycosidic linkage for example milk sugar lactose is made from glucose and galactose whereas cane sugar sucrose is made from glucose and fructose sucrose sucrose on hydrolysis gives equimolar mixture of d plus glucose and d minus fructose c12 h22o11 sucrose plus h2o give c6 h12o6 d minus plus glucose plus c6 h12o6 d minus fructose these two monosaccharides are held together by a glycosidic linkage between c1 of alpha glucose and c2 of beta fructose due to the involvement of reducing groups of glucose and fructose in glycosidic bond formation sucrose is a non reducing sugar sucrose is dextrorotatory but the mixture of levorotatory fructose minus 92.4 degree and dextrorotatory glucose plus 52.5 degree is levorotatory thus hydrolysis of sucrose changes the sign of rotation from dextro plus to levo minus and the product is named as invert sugar C twelve H twenty two O eleven sucrose dextro rotatory plus sixty six point five degree plus H two O in the presence of H plus give C six H twelve O six glucose dextro rotatory plus fifty two point five degree plus C six H twelve O six fructose levorotatory minus 92 degree maltose malt sugar is a disaccharide formed from two units of glucose joined with an alpha 1 4 bond formed from a condensation reaction maltose can be broken down into two glucose molecules by hydrolysis c12 h22o11 plus h2o in the presence of h plus give c6 h12o6 plus c6 h12o6 the free aldehyde group can be produced at c1 of second glucose in solution and it shows reducing properties so it is a reducing sugar lactose it is found in milk it is formed by connecting beta d galactose and beta d glucose the linkage is between c1 of galactose and c4 of glucose it is also a reducing sugar polysaccharides polysaccharides are polymeric carbohydrate molecule composed of long chains of monosaccharide units bound together by glycosidic linkages and on hydrolysis give the constituent monosaccharides or oligosaccharides starch is a carbohydrate 
consisting of a large number of glucose units joined by glycosidic bonds. This polysaccharide is produced by most green plants as an energy store. It is the most common carbohydrate in human diets and is contained in large amounts in staple foods such as potatoes, wheat, maize, corn, rice and cassava. It is a polymer of alpha-glucose and consists of two components, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose constitutes about 15 to 20 percent of starch. Amylopectin constitutes about 80 to 85 percent of starch. Amylopectin is a branch chain polymer of alpha D glucose units in which chain is formed by C1 C4 glycosidic bond whereas branching occurs by C1 C6 glycosidic bond. Cellulose Cellulose is a long chain of linked sugar molecules that gives wood its remarkable strength. It is a main component of plant cell walls. Cellulose is a natural polymer, a long chain made by the linking of smaller molecules. The links in the cellulose chain are a type of sugar, beta-D-glucose. Glycogen Glycogen is a multi-branched polysaccharide of glucose that serves as a form of energy storage in animals and fungi. It has a structure similar to amylopectin but is more extensively branched and compact than starch. It is present in liver, muscles and brain. When the body needs glucose, enzymes break the glycogen down to glucose. Importance of Carbohydrates All of the tissues and cells in our body can use glucose for energy. Carbohydrates are needed for the central nervous system, the kidneys, the brain, the muscles, including the heart, to function properly. Cell wall of bacteria and plants is made up of cellulose. Cellulose in the form of wood is used for making furniture etc. and cellulose in the form of cotton is used in textile industries.